Hello everyone, welcome back in this new video. In today's video I'm going to show you how to set up your Razer keyboard and mouse on Linux, specifically Fedora Linux. So let's begin. So the first step is to open your web browser and then we're going to search for a tool called Open Razer. And here they have a website, they have a GitHub repo and we're going to open their website. And then here it explains you that Open Razer is a Linux kernel module. It's also, it also has a daemon. And basically this is like a driver for your Razer keyboard, your Razer mouse, maybe even some headphones. And with this program, with this driver, you can configure the RGB lighting of your device. So now we're going to click on download. And here we're going to choose our distribution. This video is specifically for Fedora. So if you're using Fedora or something based on Fedora like Nobara, then you can click on here on officially supported Fedora slash Nobara. And here is going to give us all of the steps we need to follow in order to install this driver. So I've put my browser here on the right. I'm going to open my terminal and put it on the left here. And we're going to start copying and pasting these super, super easy commands. So first command, we're going to copy it, sudo dnf install kernel devil. We're going to paste it into the terminal and we're going to type our password. And kernel devil is actually already installed. If it's not installed for you, just install it. So the second step, we're going to copy this command to add the repo of Open Razor. We're going to copy it and paste it into the terminal and it has added the repo. And now we're going to install Open Razor Meta. So we're going to copy the third command and we're going to paste it into the terminal, run the command. And here we're going to type Y, which if you don't know that, it stands for yes. So we're going to confirm this installation by typing Y and then you're going to click enter to confirm and it's going to install all the necessary packages. And so here it is asking us to import this open PGP key. So we're going to type yes to confirm and it's going to finish the installation. And here it is running a DKMS module. So you just have to wait a minute or two depending on the speed of your hardware. As you can see, it is finishing and it has complete. So for me, it took like 30 to 40 seconds, so don't worry, it's not glitched, don't close out of the terminal, just wait until everything finishes, and it has finished. So now let's move to the next step, which is about installing an actual GUI applications to configure everything. So there are many applications, but honestly, I've tried them all. The best one is Polychromatic, which is also the first one to be listed here. We're going to click on Polychromatic here on their website. And we're going to click on download here. And of course, we're going to click on Fedora here. And we just copy the right command. So as you can see here, it says Fedora 41 and later. So now the latest Fedora release is Fedora 42, which is what most people are using. And so if you're using Fedora 41 and later, like Fedora 42, we're just going to copy this command. So let's start with the first one. We're going to copy it and paste it into the terminal and run it again. And now we're going to copy the second command and we're going to paste it into the terminal and as you guessed, run it again. Here it's asking again for confirmation. So we're going to type Y and we're going to let it install. And it has completed. So now we should have polychromatic. So we can open it. And as you can see, this is the application, but it's not working because there is one last step that we have to do. And I've closed the terminal, we have to open it again. So here is the terminal open. We're going to have to copy this command and paste it into the terminal. So I'm going to copy this command into the description of the video. So you can copy it from there. And uh, we have to paste it into the terminal, run the command, input our password, and that's it. Now all we need to do is restart the computer. And so I've just restarted the computer and now we can check if uh, the thing works. So let's open Polychromatic and uh, voila, everything works. We also have a system tray icon here so we can just like quickly configure what we want. So by default for my keyboard it's going to be configured to Spectrum and you can't really see it but if I change it to Wave it also changes my keyboard and now I have a wave of like a, the rainbow colors. Ripple is when I press a heat, like explodes the colors. And you know, you can set 
everything you want here. You can even add new colors. And this is just an amazing application. It lets you configure everything. And so that's about it for today's video. If you have enjoyed, please like and subscribe because it really helps the channel grow a lot. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Have an amazing day.